This is a full take apart repair guide for the Amazon Kindle Fire. First, be sure that the device is fully powered off. Now, use a safe open pry tool or a metal pry tool to pry along the outside edges of the screen assembly and housing. Suggest working near the top, near the loudspeakers. Once the first few clips are released, the rest of the process is fairly simple. Just take your time, work slowly. With the clips on the top and sides released, you should be able to pull the device from the back housing. With the case open, you will now need to disconnect the battery. The battery is held in place by a wire connector. It's just using a pry tool to help release the cable. With the cable released, you can now release the battery from the housing. It is held in place with adhesive. We suggest working near the bottom of the battery, although being careful as there is a flex cable located underneath. You'll now need to remove the two small Phillips screws holding the touch screen flex cable in place. Once the screws are removed, you'll need to release the jaw connector by flipping it up. With the connector open, you can now slide out the flex cable. You'll now need to release two more small jaw connectors, release the flex cable. The one being shown is held in place with a small bit of adhesive. Simply peel that back. You can now release the LCD screen flex cable. This is a simple pop connector. Simply apply upward pressure and it will release. Now release the loudspeaker wire cable. And finally, the antenna cable. Remove the six small Phillips screws holding the motherboard in place. With the screws removed, use a safe open pry tool to lift around the outside edges of the motherboard and carefully remove it.
Now I remove the two small Phillips screws holding the loudspeaker in place. Now remove the four screws as shown in the video. Gently peel back the foil holding the Wi-Fi flex cable in place and also remove the long flex cable located to the left of that. Now carefully release the two pieces of foil tape as shown in the video. You can now carefully pry along the outside edges releasing the clips holding the back housing in place. Now remove the four small Phillips screws holding the LCD screen in place. You can now carefully remove the LCD screen from the rest of the device. Now gently pry under the Wi-Fi flex cable as it is held in place with a small bit of adhesive. Heat the front of the touchscreen assembly using a hairdryer or heat gun. Use quick movements. Do not stay in one spot for too long. It should take about 45 seconds. Once the adhesive is heated, use a safe open pry tool to pry in between the touchscreen and the housing. This can be a long process, but take your time and work slowly. If needed, you can reheat the adhesive. With the frame released, you can carefully slide the flex cable through the slot in the housing. You can now replace the digitizer and apply new adhesive.